In this video, we'll see about how we can create records in a flow. So consider I have a scenario. Whenever a new account is created, I want to create a new contact under it. So to cover up this scenario, I'm going to create a record trigger flow. To create a record trigger flow, just click on this settings icon. Click on setup. Search for flows. Click on flows. Click on new flow. Select record trigger flow. Click on next. And just select how you want to start the building. I'm going to select auto layout. And my flow is launched here. So here we have to choose the object first. So if I click on choose object, so I'm going to fire this flow whenever a new account is created. So my requirement here is whenever a new account is created, I just want to create a new contact under it. So that means here the object is account. So I'm going to fire this flow whenever an account is created. And as of now, I'll just make this as none. That means it will get me all the records here and click on done. Now here, so I want to run the flow after the record is saved. So I, I need to, uh, I want to fire this flow when a record is created, only when a record is created. And I want to add some logic once the record is saved. So that means I'm going to use this after the record is saved. Why I use, why I'm using after the record is saved because so we are going to create a child records under a parent record. That means we are creating a contact record under an account record. So to create a contact record, we need an account ID. So account ID will not be available in before event. It's only available in after event. So that's the reason I selected the off, uh, this option called as after the record is saved and just click on done. So you can see here on object account flow will run after the record is saved and that it will trigger when a record is created. So that's looking good. So here I'm going to create a new contact to create a new contact. I'm going to click on this plus button. Once you click on this plus button, you can see a bunch of activities here. So here under the data section, you can see an activity called as create records. Just click on this. I'll just name this as create contacts. And I just want to create only one record. And here you can see how to set the record fields. Use, use all fields from a record. We don't have any record record resource here. So what I can do is I'll just use separate resource and literal values. So here I'm going to select the object which I need to create. That's nothing but contact. And here I need to map the fields for contact name. For con uh, consider in contact last name is the mandatory field. So that's the reason I'm just mapping last name with the name coming from the account record. So if you if you if you scroll down here, you can see dollar record. So this is the current record dot name. And also I need to populate the account ID in contact. So that's the reason I'll just select account ID field from contact and I'll just map with the ID coming from the dollar record. That's it. And just click on done. And if you want to, if you want to manually assign variables or you want to store the created contact ID, you can store the contact ID in any of the separate variable. As of now, I'm not doing this. I'll just uncheck this box and just click on done. Now I'm going to save this flow. I'll just call this as create contacts flow. And click on save. Click on activate. 
now I'll just go back to my Salesforce instance and just click on this account tab I'll just create a new account I'll just name this as test account and contact and click on save account name is the only required field and account that's the reason I'll just uh, fill it the account name and just clicking on save so once you click on save under the related list you can see a new contact has been added you can see here so this is my contact which uh, which is created from the flow okay now it's all looking good but what about bulkification so I'm gonna create 500 accounts 500 accounts and let's see if it's creating 500 contacts so I'll just go back to my developer console I'll just open the anonymous window here I'm gonna create 500 accounts here I'm gonna insert all this account and just click on execute so I'm just creating 500 dummy accounts and let's see if it's creating contacts as well okay I think my accounts are created it I think uh, let's query it here I'm gonna tell it as select name from account Just click on execute you can see there are like 500 accounts has been created successfully 101 103 104 all these things now let's check with contacts and you can see all the contacts also created so now I'll just check randomly any of the contacts and see whether the contact has created or not so I'll just check this account called as test account con493 and you can see the respect to contact, contact under it. And the other thing I want to discuss here is so this is the flow which, which we created and this flow will run after the record is saved. So you can see here I have like two options here one is before the record is saved and other is the after the record is saved and just observe the change here I'll just select before the record is saved and just click on done and try to save this flow so once I try to save this flow you can see an error message which states a flow can't include create records elements when trigger type is set to record run before save that means you can't include create records elements in before save so this is the error message we'll be getting if, if you are trying to create records in a before event 